Do you know John? I do, because, well, I made him. Not this John. Yes, I also made this one, but I'm actually talking about this kind of John. It's our latest 3D printable RC creation. What is John all about and who is it meant for? Welcome to 3D Prints Introducing. It was one of those cold December evenings when I once again sapped through a thousand different TV channels. When my thoughts wandered to the good old summer days on the slope, I suddenly felt a warm summer breeze in my face. Oh god, how I missed the times when all you need was a two channel RC, some balsa, and your best flying buddy. I was so inspired that I got some paper and a pencil to make a quick sketch of an easy peasy, no drama two channel RC glider. Three weeks later, the weather once again was very December-like, I daydreamed again and decided to make my dreams reality. I took a photo of the sketch I made and began to form a plane infusion. Out came John. Easy as that? After a few simulations and some planning, it was clear that I was going to build this bad boy. It has a 2 meters wingspan from which half of the wing is reinforced with an 8 mm carbon rod. We already made good experience with this combination at NICE, so it seemed legit. To create a V-shaped wing, I implemented a joiner part, which also acts as the point where the wing can be disassembled for easy transport. The carbon rods stay in the wings and go into the joiner. With those 10 by 4 mm magnets, the wings stay where they belong to. In the fuselage, we have a mini simpod kind of situation, where the cockpit is joined to the hatch and the whole canopy is held by magnets as well. The two servos are easy to install at the recess which perfectly fits regular SG90 servos. There is plenty of room for a receiver and battery, even if you decide to motorize John. The individual parts are being joined by PLA alignment tabs. So the parts fit perfectly. As John is a Simply Fly series plane, I decided to use infill as an inner structure. This has the advantage of the maker being able to decide himself where to reinforce and where to save weight. Of course, there are recommended printing instructions for every single part. The stabilizers are being joined with alignment tabs as well, and they work with a hinge system. That gives a nice clean look and the ability to replace a broken rudder for example. During the beta phase, we realized that John needs the fuselage to be reinforced, so we implemented this exoskeleton-like reinforcement, which is super light whilst super stiff. John needs some good amount of ballast in the nose, which corresponds to the airfoil not being designed for ultra-low wing loads. There is plenty of room in the nose to stash your ballast. The ready-built plane has an all-up weight of 1400 to 1600 grams and a relatively low wing load from 32 grams per square decimeter. Our goal was to create an easy to build and fly no drama 2 axis slope glider and we are pretty happy with how it came out. We decided to provide the step files as well for those of you who are willing to modify John in one or the other way. And of course there are ready printed build kits in our online shop. Looking forward to serving you the actual flight footage. What do you think about John? Do you like the design? What are your thoughts? Feel free to comment below and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, guten Flug!